how that was made and the process? Uh, well, Jordan, uh, tall dark friend, uh, came up to me. Um, I've known him through uh, like through school and college. Uh, he came up to me and said he's interested in doing a video um, on Facebook. Can anybody help me? And I said, Oh yeah, I'll do it. Um, so we got talking, talked through some ideas, and he came up with some quite really visualised, visually stimulating ideas. Um, so we sat down, went through the ideas, decided how we was going to do it, what was going to be possible. Um, and then we shot in the Barter Estate in East Tilbury, the old shoe factory. Uh, they, they gave us one of their lockups. Um, it was quite small on the inside and I was quite worried because of how, how wide my lens would go for it. Um, but he set his piano up in the middle, uh, in the middle of the room, uh, you know, stuck some lights up around it, kind of tried to work it all out, shot that. Uh, and then there was some interesting bits where he wanted to do like kind of down the corridor. Um, and singing, but he didn't want it just in normal time, he wanted it in like uh, fast motion. So that meant getting the track, speeding it up, um, and him uh, singing along to it double speed, and then again half speed, so in slow motion, and then sped it up. Um, and then obviously syncing that up in the camera was quite funny, uh, getting all the takes in the right order and that, and uh, he was actually on a trolley. Uh, and his manager was pushing him along the trolley and I'm running in front of him with a camera just trying to keep that out of shot. So it was quite some interesting shots and it was very different to any of the stuff I've done before. So he's really he's a really good artist to work with because he challenges you and I quite like it because it's not just normal editing. When you get into the editing, it is really you have to think about everything you do. I mean me and myself Jordan myself and Jordan sat here and literally worked through it for over about four or five different days making sure it was right, pinpointing exact cuts had to be in specific places and stuff like that, so it was quite, it was quite difficult but challenging. Do artists need a video these days? I'd, I think, personally, yes. Um, depending on what they do though, obviously. I think, obviously a lot of artists, they can go around and play the gigs, get their music out, um, but a lot of bands want to sell their music. So, unless they chuck their demos out for free, they're making a huge loss. Whereas a video, they can stick it on YouTube, um, and you know they can sell the video. But people can still see it because they can't really copy it unless they go out their way to do it. It's easier um, to you know do that. So I think it's a really good way to expose them um, and send it off to management companies or labels or whatever. And it, it gives them a way to see the band rather than just a picture of the band as well. So I think definitely it's it's a great asset for bands now and artists themselves like you know say Jordan he's not a band but that video really helps establish his persona um, rather than just his music. So your uh, editing skills and your ability to produce videos where did you learn all this? Uh, when I was in St Clair's I just started the media studies course I was the first year to do it um, so I've very kind of learned the the basics understanding of video from that is only GCSE level, but going through like, you know, what is a video, what do you get from it. Um, and then I went to Palmer's and I didn't do media studies, um, but I carried on making my own films. I made a very terrible film called 28 Minutes Later, which was a spoof of 28 Days Later, and that was terrible. Um, it was about 15 minutes long and with the cheesiest uh, special effects you've ever seen. Um, and from that, kind of just learning myself. Um, and then I've gone through loads of uh, tutorials uh, on the internet and, and it's a really good like couple of channels on there called like Film Right and Freddy W um, and like uh, Corridor Digital, they're on YouTube, if you get a chance go and look at them because they are where I started learning and then they, the good thing about them is, is they're not click by click tutorials so you don't just go okay now you do this, now you do this they'll go okay this piece of software this is how you use it, this is what we do with it. Um, now take this and do it your own way. So you physically have to go into the software, kind of a basic understanding of it, but develop your skills in it. Um, and all I've been doing is just going out, just getting shots of everything and anything, uh, and just doing editing on it for no reason, just practicing and practicing, um, and going through the different techniques. How can you turn this into a career? Um, it's very difficult. Um, at the moment I'm, I'm working on it. Um, I'm trying to do it full time, um, but there's a, as you say, it's trying to convince people um, that they that the video is going to be good use to them, and getting in 
enough videos a month to make a full-time career out of it. Uh, at the moment, I'm not quite there, but I think eventually I will. I'm hoping by next year, kind of uh, mid next year, I'll be able to do this full time and uh, make a career out of it. And um, from music videos, go on to, to film direction. That's where I want to go. Uh, I've done a couple of short films. The one I'm working on at the moment is a short film, um, as opposed to music videos. But I think my my true passion at the moment is music. Always has been. Um, from since I was a kid in school, I've always been playing music instruments, it's been in bands, so my passion lies around music and music videos. But there is, it's a very different style um, for music videos to film direction. Obviously you've got no speech in music videos, not always, but um, you're visually portraying a band, They're a, they employ you, whereas a director of a film, it's your vision. So when you're directing music video, you really have to know your boundaries. You can put in your input, but it's ultimately, it's their band, that artist, it's their song, it's how they want it to be visually portrayed. Um, so you do have limitations. But I think that's why I enjoy it, because you get to bounce off ideas. It's great collaboration. Whereas your director of video, it's solely your own input. I mean, you can collate ideas from everybody else, but it's, it's your vision. Um, unless you are employed by someone else, but nine times out of ten, it is your vision. So, I think ideally, in the long run, you know, if I'm hoping to do a feature-length film in a couple of years. Um, but at the moment, I'm, my passion is music videos and short films. James, thank you. Thank you.